Hey Tom, this is DC. Uh, I know that I have mentioned about the scoreboard that my kids and I have been building. It all started about three years ago. And back then, whenever we went to the game, we felt like we parents needed to know the score better. We've been asking around people, hey, do you know the score? Anyway, we had an idea, but we didn't know how to start. Um, this winter, we started learning about OE robotic arm, and in fact, we have learned quite a bit about how electronics works, and we were basically given a lot of information without knowing that um, we were getting close to building our school board. So anyway, um, about January 21st, my daughter's went to UCLA softball practice. Uh, I think it was an event that UCLA hosted uh, local players. And we got together, we had all day long practice. While I was waiting on the stadium, I started sketching out the scoreboard. And uh, again, it was a long journey, but within uh, less than a month, we were able to um, build this scoreboard I'm happy to give you a demonstration. So basically, um, the scoreboard, when it first turned it on, it shows zero and zero for guest and Wilshire. Wilshire is our home team, and the inning, the blue color is a stands out stands for inning, and we have ball count, strike count, and out count. And basically, I'm using this uh, old Sony uh, TV remote control. And we tested different types of remote, but uh, we, uh, we learned that the Sony or TV remote is more reliable than others. So anyway, here's a demonstration. So each button here is represents guest inning home, ball, strike, and out count. And if you press this button twice, then it will reset balls and strike. If you press this button, so then it will reset ball, strike, and outcomes together. So I'm going to push the guest button and push the, the volume up button. It will change it to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And it goes up to 99 and back to zero. Now, if you want to change the score for Wisher, press this third button here, and then you can change the score as well. As well. I haven't yet programmed the numbers to number keypad to be pressed. Uh, that's maybe I will do it today or tomorrow. And the middle one is for the inning, and I have to push this one. And you can change the inning score. Inning. If you want to change the ball count, and then one ball, two, two balls, and imagine that you have just one strike. And it will turn on. Let's say the next one is a strike two. So we have two balls and two strikes. And let's say that person becomes out. And so we have to increase the outcome by number one. And I have to reset the ball counts. So that is pretty much it. Um, so when you change the inning, then you have to reset everything, ball counts, strike count, and outcome. So you have to push, again, the last button here on the top three times, and it will reset uh, whatever it was display or strike and out to back to zero. All right, so this is a quick demo of how the scoreboard works. I plan to decorate with the lab proper letters and some banner on the top for Wisher. I'm about to take it out to the game on Saturday, so I have to finish up the decoration. Again, Tom, thank you very much for helping us out or, and also help being generous about sending us the parts that you made. Once this 
project is done, we are going to jump on to OE robotic arm and learn more about how robotic works. So thank you again and have a great day.